Hello friends, this is the next video on recurrence relation and the type of recurrence relation is a decreasing function. So already I have made one video on recurrence relation. Now this is the second video. See the title I have given is recurrence relation decreasing function. So one, two, three. So you can see all those functions. So each function is each function is covered in a separate video. Here I have a function, it's a recursive function. When n is passed, it is calling itself for n minus one. Then inside this, there is a loop. For loop is there. Let us find out what's the time. So for this, I will say, this takes t n time. Then, how much time this loop takes? So I will try to take details. This condition takes one unit of time and this for we have been writing n plus one and whatever is there inside will execute for n times. Then what about this statement? This will execute for t n minus one time. Then what is the recurrence relation? If I write this one, then t n is equals to sum of all these so t n is equals to t n minus 1 plus 2 n plus 2 this is what the recurrence relation i got but if i take it in this form it will not be easy for me to solve it so this part of a relation we have to take a asymptotic notation of that one means i should round round it up i should not take 2 n plus 2 so what is the notation for that it is big o of n or theta of n also i can say it belongs to a linear class degree one so that i can frame it as t n is equals to t n minus 1 plus n Instead of writing 2n plus 2, I can simply write n. Now, this is the recurrence relation I got. Alright. So, let us prepare this recurrence relation. See, tn is equals to tn minus 1 plus n for n greater than 0. If it is greater than 0. And when n is equals to 0 what it is doing it is doing nothing so i can say some constant or i will call it as 1 for instead of constant i am writing it as 1 right or you can take c or anything there so that's it so here we have learned how to prepare a recurrence relation from a given algorithm or a function now this recurrence relation, I will solve it using recursion tree. Tn, Tn. It is taking n amount of time. This one, loop is taking n amount of time. And also it is calling itself Tn minus one. Then what about this step? See that is printing n times. So I have not written print here. I am saying that that statement is taking n times. So I wrote just time. I am not tracing it. I am preparing a tree. Now this will be n minus 1 and again it will call itself n minus 2. Then this will be n minus 2 times this loop will repeat because now the value passed is n minus 2 and this will be tn minus 3. Continue. If I continue like this, then where it will stop? This n will reduce by 1 every time and it reach till 0. Why? Because we know the value of n is equals to 0. When n is equals to 0, answer is 1. So that is the smallest value that we know. So we say that it is reducing up to t2 that time it will print two times and t1 and for t1 it will print that loop will print for one time and this is t0 for t0 it does nothing 
that's it so what is the amount of time taken here see if you compare this one with the previous example in the previous video you can find that printf was there so i was printing the value but no i am not printing the value i am saying that this statement will take n amount of time because it is printing n values instead of writing all n values i am just writing time now let us find out the time how much time it is taking in this step n then what about this step n minus one time and then call so n minus one time and this call is there so this call is taking how much time n minus two and then n minus three so this will take how much time n minus three so goes on this will take how much time two and one then zero if i sum up all these things then it will be zero plus one plus two plus from here I am adding then goes on to n minus 1 plus n what is this n into n plus 1 by 2 so the total time here see the time for this one is n plus this time how much is this time n minus 1 plus this time so I have added all of them so the total time is n into n plus 1 by 2 so tn we got the answer as n into n plus 1 by 2 and this is n square now you write theta big o whatever it is it is n square so the time taken by this algorithm is n square this is using tree method i have solved this right so see by practicing you get the idea you don't have to elaborate it this much quickly you can get the jump onto the answer so just you need to practice few functions and recurrence relations and get the answer then you can directly give the answer you don't have to solve all these huh. when you are writing a theory examination where you have to write essay type questions there you may have to write on all these steps and then prove that it is n square if it is objective type question direct answer you need so there is a method to know the direct answer also we will be looking at this in coming videos now i will show you another method that is back substitution or induction method so that is back substitution by substitution we will solve this one so i'll remove this and i will solve just recurrence relation now now let us solve this one tn is equals to tn minus 1 plus n i can know this one if i can find out this so what is this since tn is equals to tn minus 1 plus n therefore what a tn minus 1 will be tn minus 2 plus n minus 1 isn't it see n in case of n in place of n n minus 1 so in place of n n minus 1 already minus 1 is there so n minus 2 then plus in place of n n minus 1 now i know this one so instead of n minus 1 i can take this and substitute it here now this becomes tn is equals to what is this tn minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n as it is if i open the brackets tn is equals to tn minus 2 plus n minus 1 and n remember one thing whenever you are solving this one don't add it becomes 2n minus 1 if it becomes 2n minus 1 it will be difficult for you to find out a formula for this one or a single expression for this sequence actually we will be getting a sequence so based on that sequence we have to prepare a formula if you add you'll be getting just a single one or two terms so from that we cannot figure out the formula so better avoid adding these terms so if this was the starting equation now after first substitution this is the second equation i got now further I will substitute I need to know the value of this 
so here only I will continue so what if I write n as n minus 2 instead of n if I write n minus 2 then this will be n minus 3 plus n minus 2 instead of n it is n minus 2 instead of n minus 2 sorry n minus 1 n minus 2 minus 1 so n minus 3 and this n minus 2 directly so in place of in this equation only the first one only I have just kept n minus 1 in place of n so I got this one so this part I will substitute it here so what I get tn is equals to in brackets t n minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus outside n minus 1 plus n open this one tn is equals to tn minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n this is the third equation See, after doing it for two times, then you can come on, go to k steps and then you can get the formula. This is the method followed in induction, right? So, we are substituting the value. So, induction or substitution, whatever you call it. So, I have done it for two times. Now, from this, I can observe and say if I do it for k times, what will happen? See, when first equation, it was n minus 1 and n. This was Second equation n minus 2 and then n minus 1 and n, two terms. Now n minus 3, n minus 2, then 1, then n. If I do it for k times, what happens? I'll use this part. Yes. If I continue this for k times, let us see what I'll get. Tn is equals to Tn minus k. Instead of n minus 3, I am writing n minus k plus n minus 2. This was 3, so it will be 2, 1 less than this one. So if this is k, then this will be n minus k minus 1. This was 3, so that is 2. The next will be n minus k minus 2 and goes on to n minus 1 and n so this is the fourth one I got right this is the fourth one this is up to k now I assume that I have reached till n minus k so I assume that I have reached till 0 n is 0 so assume n minus k this one has become 0 therefore n is equals to k now in place of k if I substitute n in this one let us see what I get tn is equals to this one tn minus n plus n minus I'll open this so this becomes minus n plus 1 so instead of k, I am writing n and then I am opening the bracket plus n minus n plus 2 then goes on last terms will be n minus 1 plus n. These two last terms as it is, there is no k here. Now simplify it further, tn is equals to t0 plus this nn gets cancelled 1 plus nn gets cancelled 2 so it means I can figure out the next term is a 3 yes it is a 3 then goes on up to what n minus 1 plus n that's it so what is this I got what is this I got this is sum of first n natural numbers then tn is equals to t0 is what 1 plus this is n into n plus 1 by 2 that's it if you compare the tree method there also I got n into n plus 1 by 2 but here I got one extra 
because this is giving me calls number of calls actually so plus one call extra anyway almost it is same thing so what is this this is theta of n square theta of n square that's it i have solved this second one by using recursive tree method as well as by substitution method and we got the same answer it is order of n square so in this video we have learned how to write a recurrence relation for any algorithm or a function then how to solve that recurrence relation to get the answer so we saw two different methods for solving it this useful for understanding the procedure how to solve it and also useful for that is theory exams right but for objective type questions you should know directly how to get the answer that we'll be learning in next videos.